during the project development it's not uncommon, when the project is going to get bigger and bigger, our import paths will become longer and longer. And to deal with such complex paths, Vid provides us with a feature called path aliases, so we can specify special symbols to reference particular directories in our project, so we don't have to use such long paths in order to import modules. Let's take a look at the example. I'm going to cut everything besides this import of CSS file, and then I'm going to create new JavaScript file inside of a JavaScript folder called title.js. And in here I'm going to paste that code, which is going to add title on the page. So now let's get back to app.js and write an import statement for our newly created module title.js that resides inside components folder. So when vid server is running, when browser is going to make request to fetch app.js, right after it receives this file, it is going to then do additional couple of requests to fetch app.css as well as title.js, and those requests we can see right here. So before actually returning the content of app.js to the browser, the file was transformed in this way by simply changing relative paths to absolute ones. And just because we are currently using Laravel plugin for Vite, it has one path alias registered by default, which corresponds to the add symbol. And this alias references JS folder, which is inside resources. So to actually reference JS folder, we can use add symbol. And now let's try it out. Once again, this add alias is available because we're using Laravel plugin in our vid.config.js. So now in the browser, we're going to see the same result. And in Vid Inspector, we clearly see that add symbol has been expanded to resources slash GS segment. But of course, we can create additional pass aliases or override existing ones. So to create new one or override pass alias, we have to use resolve object. And inside of this object, we'll add additional alias object, inside of which we're going to specify a mapping between pass aliases and pass that they point to. In this case, I'm overriding the default add pass alias to point to components folder. So inside app.js, we no longer need to reference components segment in this pass directly, because it will be added by the pass alias. So in the browser, we're seeing that it works, and our pass alias has been expanded to resources slash GS slash components pass segment. Just to make sure that we still can build project without errors, let's run npm run build and check the result. As we can see, there are no errors. Link to the source code of this lesson will be in the video description.